Can I get a Whopper, please? I think they're closed. In my professional opinion, I think they're closed because of the positioning of this piece of real estate, because of the location. Location is vital. Coming up. I'm gonna bring you to a property right now. It was formerly a Burger King and it went out of business. And I suspect it's because of the location. Burger King out of business. Is it because of the location? What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest helping real estate agents, real estate brokers, and real estate investors grow their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. I'm here at a local Burger King in the Fort Myers area and I'm driving past it the other day and I'm like, man, that thing shut down. I think it shut down several several years ago and I was just trying to think like, why, why would a Burger King shut down? And my only conclusion was because of the location of this specific Burger King. Now I think back in the day when this was first built, I don't think this overpass was here before. And this is gonna be one of the main issues for the survival of really anything that goes into this property in my estimation. So if you look back here, maybe hard to see, but you got a big overpass. As you can see, there's a double overpass over here, and I'm not sure if this Burger King was built before the overpass was put in or after, but I can tell you, just coming north or southbound, if you're going northbound, it's not that big of a deal because you can really just make an easy turn into this Burger King or a former Burger King. But if you're going southbound, you know, you're gonna have to try to navigate either over that bridge, you're gonna be able to see it easily coming from the southbound location however if you're really not from here or you've never been to this location you might think that you have to go over this overpass to access it or maybe you have to go through the next traffic light there is a turn which brings you under that overpass I mean, if I wanted to go to this Burger King right now, going south, I had to figure out that little turn pass right there underneath the bridge, which came up really quick. But it's difficult, it comes up really quickly as well. So it, it just, overall, it's kind of a difficult situation, difficult scenario for people to come in and out. And at the end of the day, the whole point of fast food is convenience. People want convenient locations to kind of jump in, jump out. And I think a lot of people going southbound on this pro on going southbound on this street right here, they're they're even seeing the Burger King and they're like, "Wow, I'm hungry," but you know, it's probably going to be a pain in the butt to get back onto the main road over here now on the other side there's another main road right here but you cannot see this burger king from that main road so really um, any kind of pass by traffic is just from this main corridor right here and as mentioned you know if you're going uh, northbound it's pretty easy pretty easy to get in and out but i think the whole point of convenience stores and you know your walgreens and cvs's and your fast food joints they, um, they pick some of the best locations where it's easy in, easy out to get you back on your main, main track, main drive so you can get to where you need to go. It's all about convenience these days. It's all about speed. My personal opinion, I don't think that they survived because they didn't get enough traffic coming in and buying the Whopper. <sighs> now you gotta keep in mind, real estate location is important for not just commercial real estate, but residential as well. It's going to have an effect on, you know, the rentability, even uh, resale purposes. You know, if you, let's say you buy a property and it's really far from any kind of public transportation, if you're in a more of a, a metro or a city and people need access to bus stations and so forth, you want to make sure that, you know, the properties that you buy for rentals um, do have access to those, to those areas, just as one point, one example. So again, location is everything when it comes down to real estate. You can't change the location. 
you can change the condition of this building uh, you can build up you can you know renovate it you can tear it down but you cannot change the location of this property so I think that you know it's whatever goes into this place next it has to be some sort of like maybe a doctor's office or something like that where you know the the person that's going to find this establishment has an appointment to go there and it's not kind of spur of the moment um, where somebody's driving by and just pulls over to get a bite to eat i remember several years back i bought a property it was just off a of main drag of us 41 and uh, from the front yard it was super loud you could hear traffic as loud as this traffic that we hear right now and um, it was a beautiful piece of property but at the end of the day it had this traffic noise right now i have to speak up so you guys can hear me um, due to this traffic noise and that's what you heard at this residential piece of property so if you know i did get it for a great deal so i knew that i have to i had to play with the value and the numbers when i flipped that property so i built that into into my analysis figuring out um you know the after repair value and uh you know i had to deduct from all the other properties in the surrounding area i took another twenty thousand dollars off of what i thought that property would be valued at just because it was higher traffic so point i'm making is you don't necessarily need to be afraid of you know bad locations so as long as you're getting a really good deal and they're more risky but with risk comes reward so what's your opinion on real estate location comment below as always if you got anything good from this video go ahead and subscribe we're gonna have much more information coming at you real estate related and i appreciate the support